everybody welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here hello my name is Melissa and today I wanted to cake myself up in as much makeup as I wanted to put on my face so whilst this is not going to be everyday wearable makeup for most people I have to go to Tesco looking like this and to be honest looking forward to it I'm going to be playing with my Be Perfect Carnival, my Carnival XL Pro, we're going to do the whole face, we're going to get clarty, we're going to need a spoon to get this makeup off at the end of the day and that is exactly my intention. So if you want to see how I did this look here and just fanny around with me, play with makeup, then please just do keep on watching. We are going to begin by trying to make me look better. As always, I'm going to use my Revlon Candid as my primer. Why do I never have anything ready? Nothing. Nothing's ready. My room's a mess. That's all I have to say about that. Smear this out. Great eyeshadow base, if you ask me. I just cannot wait to put so much makeup on my face that I need a trowel to take it off. Like, that is the mood I'm in. And if you don't like that, <laughs> this is not the place for you not to be rude. I'm going to start off with Blackberry which is a very very deep purple. Now this stains like nothing I've ever seen before. This is the most staining eyeshadow I probably have in my collection. It stains bright pink. Um, Like even a shower fails to remove it. That's why I've got my trusty SVR my cellar water. I feel like that's the only thing that gets rid of stains on me. And right now I'm just gonna pack this on to halfway. It's a real good shade. It kind of goes on ever so slightly patchy I think just because of the fact that it's purple and the depth of it but you just build it up and it's absolutely fine. Um, aren't you above my crease? You are. Good girl. I'm gonna go in with the deep next. And when I tell you it is a drich day here in Scotland, oh, it's bad. They wonder why Scottish people are like all the time. It's because our weather is terrible and it gets dark now at like half past three. It's, it's something else. You wake up in the morning and go to work, I mean not me because I don't leave the house, but you wake up in the morning, you go to work and it's dark and then you come home and it's dark. It's so depressing, but I love Scotland so. <laughs> it, is, it is my favourite country in the world. So that shade's beautiful. I literally love it. Elena made me want to play with it. She did a live and used it and I was like, yeah, I'm going to use that too. Then, free, just beside Blackberry. This is going to start our blend of blackberry. Not a particular favourite fruit of mine. Although every time I go on a walk and I find blackberry bushes, I do eat them. It's free food though. Everything tastes better when it's free, doesn't it? Where I grew up up north in Tain, we had so many like raspberry and blackberry bushes. It was amazing. I'm going to take Lagoon and one thing that we used to do like I think my parents just loved it because we got out of their hair for a while. We go strawberry picking in the farmer's fields and you were allowed to keep a certain amount but the rest I think the farmer kept and sold. That was fun. Parents were probably just happy to get a couple hours peace and quiet when you got five kids. I cannot imagine. <laughs> How stressful that must be. I'm not trying to blend these together right now. I'm just trying to pack on the colour. And you can see it's all very much above my crease, like when my eyes wide open. I'm going to grab my Carnival XL Pro and I'm going to take Wasted. I feel like these palettes go so well together. I actually think I did this a little bit later on on the other eye, but it'll be fine. The fruity shade's a bit pink, but this is maybe more an appropriate purple to blend out blackberry. That'll be fine. We'll manage and then I'll take, that is not the right brush is it? What am I doing? I'll take 
I actually can't remember. Pink Lily. We'll just we'll just take it. We'll just see what happens. I've hit pan. I have hit pan. Let's all go around the perimeter of the purple. Hello, I am Elena. I am your Russian American makeup and beauty addict. Privet. <laughs> if you don't watch Elena, you need to. She's amazing. Just like this. Again, still not focusing on blending. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh. XL Pro. I'm going to take soft spot and then. Rude. So rude. Why though? Exactly my question. And this is the first one, darker one. I just think, yeah, these palettes together are literally all you need in your collection. <laughs> Will I ever not love my carnivals? Probably not. And then I'll just use that same brush and go into Y though, which is definitely more green, but I think it still works for what I'm doing. I thought about getting my Baby Pastels palette involved as well for the light blue, but I don't want to use like 12 different palettes. So we're just making it work. Okay, harsh lines, but it's okay. And then I'll take Pep Talk down here. And this is our lightest pink that we're gonna throw on. I just, yeah, I feel like this is such a Melissa look and it's what I needed to do. So although I do have like a backlog of new palettes and stuff that I want to play with and do videos with, like I just wanted to do a Melissa look. Ease myself back into it. I'm going to take Black Beach. I need to be careful because I'm actually sitting here topless for, <laughs> I don't know, well I've got, I had my pyjamas on. I didn't really want you to see my fleecy Disney pyjamas. So just whack them off, you know. This is just, you know me, I always add black, don't I? Especially to the outer corner. Just mm, gives the depth. And I wanted to blend green on the lid. And I wasn't sure how to do that into the purple, so that's why I added the black in between. Sneaky of me. I'm going to update you on my most recent Tinder date. I thought I spoke about it on in Tuesday's video but when I edited it last night after filming it yesterday I'm going back into Blackberry by the way the first shade we used yeah when I edited it I was like oh you didn't even speak about it and I don't want to speak about it too prematurely but so I had a date a tinder date with a man <laughs> and he is an English man I know I know I know I'm kidding but it is funny. Uh, he's English, he's Liverpudlian. Incredible accent, makes me giggle. Uh, packing that around. <coughs> and then I'll go back into Wasted from my XL Pro. We went to the Wallace Monument, which is very close by to, my, to where I live and to where he lives. Shut up, phone and had a lovely Scottish themed experience. I mean, quite a nice monument, a lovely walk. It was absolutely pouring with rain, but thankfully the human skin is waterproof. I am starting to pay more attention now to my blending, by the way. And it was lovely. And then we came back to mine and <laughs> watched Braveheart. <laughs> Because we were just ribbing each other the whole time about our Scottish Englishness. Um, I'm going to go back into Free, which was just hilarious. I mean, I don't think I've ever watched Braveheart from start to finish before. Tragic tale. Not that it's historically accurate. <laughs> I know that. And then he cooked me dinner. So <laughs> that was lovely. And uh, then he went home and 
been a few days since then and we've been speaking on the phone in the evening which is something I never do I hate speaking on the phone but spoken phone I'm gonna actually grab a little bit of funky from my XL Pro yeah we've just uh, clicked quite fast in terms of, you know personality wise you know easy to talk to um easy to look at which always helps but more importantly the man can hold good conversation uh, a bit more pep talk which i always want to call pepto-bismol so yeah that's the update on on the dating scene and like i said in tuesday's video i mean i've only got the patience and the brain power to have like one person you know i know a lot of people that like, can like multiple date and stuff but apart from anything we're not supposed to are we shut up um but yeah i don't have the the brain capacity to try and like get to know multiple people at once so yeah i don't want to don't want to jinx it or speak too soon lovely man see how it goes if it doesn't go anywhere and that's just what happens that was a bit more the deep then i'll go in with a bit more lagoon you know if anything i got dinner out of it so winning we're getting somewhere what i'm going to do now is take my xl pro and the shade peppermint and i'm gonna kind of do like a cut crease shape but i'm not like chiseling it or trying to make it real perfect it's a much quicker way to do it as well i just think this is a nice base for the pigment we're gonna go in with i didn't want to just put the pigment straight on without something underneath it this shade definitely goes on better wet but because i am covering it up i'm not like that bothered it doesn't need to blow us away right now oh that's really pretty for the pigment it is pastel roses and this is in the shade aquamarine it's not a pigment it's like a flaky formula i used autumn love in a video and oh, holy macaroni it was beautiful did i use it in a video i think i did i'm using my very old Too faced glitter glue and i'm just gonna pack that on exactly where i put that peppermint shade then wait till you see this i mean you can see it on the other eye but i always think of seeing something like this applied it's just very satisfying oh. so this is like pink blue and green reflect it is so beautiful i do think autumn love is my favorite shade i only got two of these there's so many more i need to order from titmouse honestly and um, which is the best place to get these indie brands from because then you don't have to pay shipping from multiple different sites is that or is that not sickening i'm gonna say it is mm, that tickles my pickle for the outer corner couldn't tell you i'll probably take i mean what on earth did i use probably key lime I'm just gonna pat this. Yeah, I think that'll match the other side once so I put the deeper green on as well. Just because it this has reflective green in it, so I feel like it it works as well. And I want to just use a plethora of colours. Just patting that on and then I'll take forest up here. Just so that's same brush, because I'm from Liverpool. And that blends into the black easier. Almost as if I know what I'm doing. Okay, I mean, we, we can finagle that as we go on, can't we? I mean, right now it's looking fine. I'm going to clean up my phone out. There is a lot you should see my desk. An absolute midden. I do have some more new bits that I'd quite like to test today, maybe some old bits as well, but I'll start with this Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum. It says hydrating 
Um, I'm just wondering if it's maybe like my X um, Revolution one that I love. You know, the super dewy one. It smells nice. Oh, it smells really nice actually. And it's a lot thinner than the Makeup Revolution one, which is like notoriously hard to get out of the pipette. And I think they did address that because people were moaning about it and it's something to do with all the ingredients or something. Um, but I don't mind that it's hard to get out because it's just so lush. It feels nice, it kind of just feels like water. <laughs> It doesn't feel like it's uh no it's not got the same shine that my xx Ugh. revolution pro is it let me just get it out revolution super duty this one revolution pro i think it's just revolution i'm just gonna use a tiny bit of this as well then <laughs> why not obviously yeah a lot thicker it just adds such a shine I lost my, my thing, my nail. Opening a lovely parcel today from Charlotte. I'm gonna use some of that stuff today as well. I really do have the best friends and sausages in the world. For, for foundation, I think, my NARS again, because I have only used it once on video and I don't know if I said it enough in that video that it's blown my socks off. So I feel like I need to just keep reiterating that with you all. Have I wet my sponge? No, but yesterday's is still kind of damp, so. And gross, whatever. This is Mont Blanc. And it's just the bee's knees. So far, I think it's only like available on Boots or on the NARS, like NARS's own website. Uh, I wish it would come to other retailers. I just don't like ordering from Boots. I feel like the waiting times are always really long. Like, it always takes so long to get to me, for some reason, so, yeah, I just prefer ordering from, like, Feel Unique or Look Fantastic. Plus, they usually have, um, like, sales on. Like, I can always get 20% off Look Fantastic with my code. <laughs> Mess up. If you're wondering, it's an affiliate code. Use it, though. Makes me look good. I don't get any money from it, but it's not, then it's not an affiliate code. So I don't earn any money from it, so just use it. Yeah, you're gonna be seeing this a lot on my channel because I haven't tried over this primer actually, and this is a a mattifying foundation, whereas the primer is super dewy. And I would say it's yeah, it's pretty much completely hidden the primer, which is fine. I mean this shade does actually look okay for me, right? But I do feel like it is slightly paler than my other Mont Blanc. Oh, we can start off with this then as my concealer. So Charlotte really kindly, she sent me this incredible parcel. And one of the things in it was the Benefit Complexionista, which has two concealers at the top, Hula Light, which is my favorite bronzer shade from Benefit, Hula. It's got What's Up, uh, What's Up, What's Up, What's Up and Dandelion Twinkle. So I thought I could use the Boeing Industrial Strength Concealer under my eyes. I've actually not tried their new reformulation of this. So, we'll see. This is going to be such a good little travel palette for me. Not that anyone's travelling, but you know what I mean. So let's blend this in. So funny that this has what's up in it, because I literally just ordered that from Feel Unique. <laughs> the full size one because Teresa always talks about it I think she really likes it so I wanted to have to have it because I love cream highlight oh yeah that's done a nice job that's done a really nice job but I don't know why I kind of maybe wasn't expecting it you always think like I don't know I wonder if like concealers in these are the same formula but it would be weird if it was a different formula from their normal one yeah that has done a good job uh, let's cream contour. I don't know if I have anything new. We'll just use my Morphe Effect number 12 contour stick. Really like this. Use it all the time. It's cheaper than Fenty. 
which I also really like. This is just a good colour. It's very grey, which is quite intimidating, but it does blend out real nice. My battery is going to dance to full jaw. Why not? Why not? I actually should not have put my concealer on yet. I'm very out of practice. I've not done like full Melissa face in a while. Do you know what? This actually might be too cool toned for today, but we'll make it work. Ain't no way I'm rubbing this makeup off. That is very cool toned, isn't it? It's actually maybe too cool for today. Or maybe I put on too much, but we're in that kind of mood, so we will put cream bronzer on and then we'll try and fix fix this. I'll use my PS Bronze Whip. I don't have a new one and I really like this. This is Primark. Uh, I think Primark's actually shut in England right now, isn't it? See, we've got a different system here, like Scotland. We've got a tier system. It's like the very top of Scotland, like the Highlands Islands, I think they're in tier one. So life is like pretty normal, but not still. Like you can still only have I think like six people in your house and then like tier two. I don't think you can have people visiting. We're in tier three, me, I'm in tier three in Clackmannanshire, which um, I don't know, like life's quite normal, but like you can't, I can't visit my family or anything, you know, technically, so. Okay, that bronzer is definitely helping with how cool toned my contour was. Before my battery dies, hopefully, I'll take a tiny bit more of this Benefit concealer and just maybe pat a wee bit down here just to help me with the contour. <laughs> lovely, lovely. I think my skin looks really nice. I mean, it looks makeup y, but it's the point of today's. Tech talk, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna change my battery and then we'll keep going. I might as well keep using this. I've used the shade What's Up. This is a, I think it's a very popular cream highlighter from Benefit. And like I said, I got a full one on the way, which I'm very excited about. I just love creams. We all know this by now. I've really changed my tune in the past like three months, haven't I, when it comes to like cream products basically. They've just changed the game for me. My skin always looks better when I've used creams and powders. But I just always look a bit healthier when I've got my creams on. It's a really nice shade. It does suit pale people, which is good. Because I'm pale. Do you know what I think it is about this shade of Mont Blanc, this foundation shade? I think it's just slightly too pink, whereas the other one is not. It's more neutral. That's a nice base. I guess today we could use a pink blush. Yeah, this is pink. This is Maybelline Dream Matte Blush in the shade Flirty Pink. I got this on boots. Oh, fine, I'll use pink for once. Will I end up pink peach on top? Very possibly. I actually haven't used this. I bought this a while ago and then I found it in peach, which is the one I keep using. I might do a bit more kind of drapey style blush today. It's actually quite nice, isn't it? It's quite a neutral pink, like it's not too crazy. And I'll use my, where are you? I'll use my Maybelline Fit Me with finishing powder. This is in 05. I actually really quite like that Benefit concealer. That's all I have to say about that. End of discussion. 
Mm, yeah, this is a nice brightening shade. I think you can only, like, I think you can still only get this on Amazon because it's like an American one. Uh, and I've not added any powder to my powder brush and I'll just dab it over my T-zone. Wunderbar. Yeah. Yeah. Schnell. I feel like I can still see that pre-work bronzer quite a lot. Where's that flying here? Uh, so I'll just use my BH Cosmetics and the shade Buttermilk. <sighs> Go away. So I don't really need to add a whole heap of bronzer. My skin is not set at all apart from under my eyes really so I need to be a little bit careful. But the foundation like it is matte but it's not like matte. It's not like Maybelline Superstay matte. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I have any other stories to tell you. I don't really think I do. Um. No. But I will keep you updated on my Tinder travels. <laughs> you know. Let's see where it goes. And then, then I thought I would try this Milani One One Ten Dolce Perla baked highlighter. I've only tried this on in the haul that I did where I got it so I'm quite excited to try it on like not on top of another highlighter. I got this on Beauty Bay. A wee while ago. Oh gosh. A wee while ago. After eyeing it for a long time. I just think it looks so appealing in the pan. There's just It just looks like something I want to smear on my face. And yeah, I oh um, I'm glad I made this decision. Yeah, that is stunning. Mm -hmm. That is lovely. I really like that highlight. That's a really pretty colour. Teresa, I think you might need this. Yeah, that is so nice. Oh, I like that. I like the colour, I like the formula, I like the payoff. I'm very pleased with that, actually. Very pleased. Let's put blush on and we'll keep trying to like make it, uh, you know what I mean. I've got no words. Words don't come easily to me today. I'll start with this. This is my XX in Risqué. Risqué holding it up because it's got a mirror and I'm topless. It'd be a scandal, wouldn't it? Okay. It's actually quite a nice pink. Again, it's quite neutral. I'm definitely like focusing it up at the back here. But I actually think I could go in with something a bit more pink. It's got a bit of a sheen to it, so it's quite nice. But let's find something maybe brighter pink. So like, I promise you that was not a fart. That was my drawer. On oh, my chair. NYX Sweet Cheeks. Rose and Play is the shade. And these are very glossy as well. Yeah, we'll go quite blush heavy. Sorry, I'm just having fun clarting myself in makeup, so this video is probably going to be annoyingly long. <laughs> I want it to be like quite obvious that I've over blushed, if you know what I mean. That's, that's a heavy blush, but it's on purpose, right? We're experimenting. I got sent this Makeup Obsession Kaleidoscopic Dreams with Tiffany or Illuminati from, well, I know her from Glow Up. Uh, and these pencils are insane. Like, they're real good. Look at those beautiful colours. I feel like I kind of want to use this because it looks like it's chartreuse and I'm obsessed with chartreuse. Maybe do... Like, do I have another green that I could put on the outer corner? I'm going to put this at the front anyway. Or 
right. I haven't tried them on my eyes, I've only swapped them. It's quite impressive, I might just wrap that around the inner corner. Maybe I'll do the pink on the outer half. I might change this to green. Look how pigmented these are. How much are these pencils for this pack? Because if you maybe don't have a lot of colourful eyeliners, I mean, these are makeup obsessions, so they're not going to be that expensive. Take the orange. But in the middle. Like they're not going to be that expensive. Let me have a look because I feel like these are really quite impressive and like color, really good colour for eyeliners are a little bit hard to find. £12 so that's a little bit more pricey than I thought but it is five pencils. So what's that? £2 something each. So that's not bad, but I guess £12 straight out the gate is a little like pricey, but they oh they just they just fit in beside my other colourful pencils in such a happy way. Right, let's do green in the bottom because we've not really got enough green going on. So we'll take forest first, which is oh, should we stop being lazy, Melissa? This deep green here. And then tuck that at the outer corner. I literally love that waterline, the yellow into the orange into the pink. I think that's really fun. And I think I'm going to do like a really basic lower lash line where it's not really about blending, it's just like chunks of colour, if you know what I mean. And then I'll take mm, Reef. It's a shade I've not really played with that much. This is gonna have fallout, isn't it? Just so it's very obviously green, but I don't want to put a lot of effort in, to be quite honest. <laughs> and then I'll take key lime. I can't be honest, you know? I just can't be honest. Am I allowed to say that? Can't be bothered, sorry. Right, I'm really sorry to take another palette. I'm just grabbing my Mitchell and I'm going to take the shade Chemtrail because it's like a proper chartreuse yellow and I just want to yellow this up a bit more than the lime green. Look at that shade. I am sorry to take another palette into this. But I think that definitely looks better than that, right? No shade, Tahiti, you know I love you. I'm gonna go throw brows and lashes on and then we'll come back, we'll choose a lip together. Probably pink, I guess, I think would be a fun one to go with the blush in this outer corner. And I've not done a bright pink in a while. So yeah, we'll do that and then we'll see where we are. I think pink. I do want to do nude, but I think pink. Lashes are on. I'm using these Be Perfect ones again. Might as well. Brows are on, kind of. And I just line my lips with the Makeup Obsession eyeliner. <clears throat> you know what? Things are multi-use. You can do whatever you want in life, as long as it's legal. Uh, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Paris lipstick in I Speak Up. We're going full pink. I might even have more blush. Who knows? But the formula on these are so beautiful. A really thin, thin formula. Very comfortable. I'm getting like 80s vibes from this makeup. Does me? Who knows? Okay, that needs to dry down and then I'll clean it up and fix it. I wonder if I need a tiny bit more blush just so that it's really like obvious that I'm wearing a lot of blush. Okay, okay, this is why makeup is art, you know, it's not just makeup. I'm gonna go do something with my hair, I don't know what, to be honest. I don't really want to take away from the eyes, but I also don't want to keep this hairdo. And then we're gonna be finished. This lovely, wearable 
makeup look. Yeah, this has turned into some kind of like 80s fantasy makeup and I am not mad at that because why not? I needed to come back from my break and do something over the top and I feel like that's what I've done today. I'm actually really happy with this makeup. I'm a bit nervous about going to Tesco in it. It's a bit much but I will have a face mask on. So it will cover most of it up and it won't look so crazy. But yeah, that is going to be all for me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun filming it. I won't have fun editing it, but there we are. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. I really hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!